Okay, let's take a look at the CSSP exam requirements from 2012. Now, what IC Square has done is starting from 2011 onward, they modified the requirements for the CSSP exam to take effect from January 2012. Now, why this is important is to ensure that students have the latest information regarding information security and are up to date with the modern development. Basically, we still have 10 main domains within the CSSP uh, training. We have the access control, telecommunication and network security, information security governance and risk management, software development security, cryptography, security architecture and design, security operations, business continuity and disaster recovery planning, legal, regulations, investigations and compliance, and then physical security. The physical security domain actually talks about environmental issues as well. So we're going to be taking a look at this. Now, in this overview, I'm going to be dedicating each a session to each of these domain to give you a real overview of what each domain is talking about. What I like about this new requirement is that ISC Square has put a lot of emphasis on the confidentiality, availability, and integrity of information. After all, in information security, what we are trying to do is to protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. So therefore, whether you are doing cryptography, or you are doing physical security or business continuity, it's all about the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your information. And as a result, it is important to understand this concept and how it relates to each domain, and that is exactly how this training is built up. So basically, you have three main areas, and these areas kind of stack up together. The first part of every domain is the definition of terms relating to the domain. And then you get the concept, the concept that is going to be discussed within the domain, the methodologies that are applicable within the domain, and then the technologies that are used within that domain. So basically, it is like if you're talking about cryptography, now there are going to be a definition of cryptography, what is crypto system, what is ciphers, and etc. And then we're going to talk about the methodologies that are used within the cryptographic environment. And we build that out by telling you about the technologies. What are the algorithms that are being used in cryptography and how is it being implemented today in a computer environment? Okay, after that stage, the next stage is to talk about the threats that are involved in a cryptographic environment and the vulnerabilities of cryptography and what attackers are doing to attack cryptographic algorithm and so forth. So basically we talk about the methodologies, technologies, threats, vulnerabilities and attack and now the question is what are you doing about it? What are you doing to ensure that your confidentiality, integrity, and availability is protected at all times? Then that is when the last part of each domain comes in. In this case, we're going to talk about the effectiveness of the control. First, what are the controls that are in place in your environment, and are they effective? If so, are they able to uh, reduce the threats, eliminate the threats, or close the vulnerabilities that could be used by threat agent to attack your system. So you can begin to understand the importance of really understanding the confidentiality, integrity, and availability concept and how this relates to each uh, domain, whether being it cryptography, physical security, risk management, etc. So basically this is great stuff and I like to you know, encourage you to check out the uh, overview of the other sessions so that you can get a bit more understanding on how this works. Thanks a lot.